And we're moving right along! Finally finishing Korriban! Of course, I say finally. I'm enjoying this every moment. Yes! Knocked off the cliff! Saved myself a fight there. Sure, I got absolutely no loot, but no fight. Let's see here. Three, two, one. Hey, ugly. And boom! <laughs> Using the environment to your advantage! I should also note that jumping down there is instant death. It will kill you. Fortunately, that's not going to work for me here. this a little close and we made it now as I stalk back and forth to get my health back up no matter how low your health or resources whenever you use your little class based recharge you go back up to full the only exception is resources for warriors and Jedi Knights, because they are reverse resources. You start empty and build up and use it that way. This one I can't just knock off the ledge, unfortunately. But let's... Well, let's take advantage of this. He's completely out of the way right now. Four seconds. Weakling is done. And now, I was able to deal that without taking any damage from him. Unfortunately, it's on a bit of a cooldown, so uh, I can't use it all the time, but... Oh, I've forgotten all about that. I need to do that this entire time. It's also on a bit of a cooldown. Right. Two big stuns are on cooldowns now. I will need him in this room. That's not going to do me any good. Let's see here. You are... Okay. This is a safe room. Place the rod. Yes, bow down, statues. Bow down before me. And zap them off, lightning! I said zap them, not me! Reverse zappage! Ah! 
Oh, look, I'm bowing down like the statues. Super lightning! We're crossing the streams! Ugh. Overcross the streams a little bit, I think. Oh, look, railings. This is Armin's Waihai's force. Gawain Tida seek from Tauhans. Ittau Kida, Melaswe Sama, World Sign in, Merem Nai, Saigat Rawa Degaya. Tagasar Chais, Embarks, Prize War Tyrene, Swase Ik Bus, Karatida. You don't exactly sound sane. Ni Pate Uvaro is Sandan Suare Kanidede, Akja Swaluda Is. Baba Barna Hubbins, Glau Bena, Ni in Usakwai, Uisi Terrans Apipao. Was Jabe, Wise Jabe, Prophetis, Wisans Jagara Haitain. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. He places Amin's Waihai's fools, Gawain Tida seek from Tauhans, Babro Gatua, Ina in the Lausolam. Jagasatida do ima. Twade and warpai and parlai kain. And stun! <laughs> yeah, that's how you use the stun. Oh, I couldn't have pushed him around if I wanted to. Because the rail. Ipsic air by Kudana, Jaus air by Rojandan, in Bise Wistai, in Bizose White Eyes Pila Press in Kretai, in Bise Ewanata, Atragata Injais. I am your master. Get used to it. Sisunja, Targis Golan. And the other unique feature about Kotor is the companion system. Every class has companions, which is amazing. And this guy starts off as a tank companion, which is even more amazing. But there are no pet classes in this game. Every character has their own companions. It's great for when you're leveling. Falcon Punch! See, I can send him out to gather all the anger from these things. Or just flat outright kill it. But see, the little thing is busy fighting him. It has absolutely no interest in me whatsoever. That lets me electrocute this thing with extreme prejudice. In your little crew class skill healing there that'll heal you out of combat, also heal your companion. Which is very handy. Especially when you have a tank companion who's busy taking all the damage for you. I mean, look at that. Now, I take absolutely no damage whatsoever. And yes, this guy is not the nicest looking thing of all time. Whatever happened to your weapon, buddy? Didn't you have a weapon? You do have a weapon. Oh, whatever. Go in. Feed. Oh, I got a little one after me. So you just stuff that into your backpack, don't you? See, killing these things is not a requirement, so I'm just going to ignore them. Oh, I had a load there. 
By the way, I have my little uh, companion buddy here set to a hotkey. So I can just push that and he's automatically going to go attack. Normally they wait till you get attacked before they actually do anything. Sending him out in advance, especially as a tank companion, will help him establish threat against the thing and thus make my life easier. I can make his life easier too by stunning. Tough. I think I'm gonna have to get in and beat it down a little bit on the side. This my quickie zap takes a lot of force energy. Dead. Ooh, what is that? Aim and Endurance, Heavy Armor. I believe my ugly companion here uses Aim and Endurance. No, he uses Strength and Endurance. But he also uses Heavy Armor. It does provide Endurance, so I will give it to him for now, even though Aim is worthless for him. It provides Armor and Endurance, which will help him last a little bit longer. I'm gonna beep. Somebody whispered me. Why would they whisper me? Turn to Overseer Harkin. I'm going to take the quick way. So I don't have to fight my whole way back out. This should end exactly where I want it to, when I want it to. Beautiful. I did all the Corbon in one day for you guys. Let's see here, let's sell some junk. What can I get for you? Pair other stuff. Come back anytime. Moving right along. Overseer Harkin. Gonna go this way. Telling you, Overseer, it cannot be done. I went into the tomb, I saw the Dashard across the chasm, but I could not get to it. But the map, the map! Lord Zash is adamant she will not take an apprentice without the map! I'm telling you, Lord Zash wants the impossible. No one is ever going to get that map! Sorry I'm late, but I have the map. <laughs> and he says it so the calmly. Dashard. Get that monster out of here this instant! And give me the map. No, it's not possible. You wretch, you filth. You must have cheated somehow. How did you do it? How did you release the monster? Sae galut saida, iswis us ulf bendan ja atnam in puidangar ja. Right. You, you must have cheated. You must have. You'll pay for this. Fawn, patience. You will have your chance at this whelp. After you personally deliver this map to Lord Zash. Eat them both, Kim. Keep your pet at bay for just a moment, Acolyte. <laughs> I would have a word with Fawn. Lord Zash? Yes, Fawn. Now, where's my map? Uh, here, Lord Zash. R right here. You found it for me, Fawn? How wonderful. He couldn't have found it if he tried. Silence! Fawn will tell me what happened, won't you, Fawn? 
You wouldn't dare lie to me, would you? Because it would be a shame for me to discover that you lied to me. Now, one more time. Did you bring this map back from Nagasado's tomb? I, uh, I, n uh, no. No, I, I didn't, I, I didn't. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Hearken, you fool. In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? You fool. There's your pet, Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. Wow. She really fried him. Poor guy. I almost feel sorry for him now. This is not the end. <laughs> Without Lord Zash to save you, you are nothing. I have connections that will hunt you wherever you go. That's big talk for a worm like you. Get out of my sight, slave. Your new master is waiting for you upstairs. <laughs> oh, that line. I love that line. Let's see here. Checking time frame. We are going good. around, I go. And... Boop. Ah, my magnificent new apprentice. Congratulations are in order, I believe. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. You've earned it, my apprentice. Now, I was just looking over this astonishing map you brought back, and I can tell we have a lot of work ahead of us. Murder and mayhem await. Patience, my apprentice. We must go about this with tact. All in good time. <laughs> you must meet me on Drummond Tactful Cars. murder and mayhem. There we can talk more. Why must we go there? That is where the map leads, though I likely would have taken you there anyway. The capital of the Sith Empire is a good place for an apprentice to start. I will meet you in my chambers in the Citadel in Karst City. There we can speak more freely of the work ahead, without the fear of unfriendly ears. This is the lightsaber I had as an apprentice. I want you to have it. It'll do. I shall wreak havoc with it wherever I go. Magnificent. No doubt you will. Now, remember, my chambers, the Citadel, Drum and Kaos. It's imperative that we get to work on this as soon as possible. I can finally get that stick off my back. Stop right there, slave. Darth Scotia has a message for you. Who is this Darth Scotia? Darth Scotia is Lord Zash's superior, and your worst nightmare. The message is this. You will not go to Drummond Kars. Everything you've done here, everyone you've dealt with, Lord Zash included, is insignificant. Darth Scotia has eyes and ears on Korriban. He knows what your master is up to, and he is displeased, to say the least. On Korriban, Lord Zash may have her way, but on Drum and Kars, it's a different story. So you see, you have to die. Kem, what is it you do to force users again? Gibai is with Aman Hanguijins. Tosin, is that a Dushard? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Coward! Fight, you fool! 
And they'll just stay there for their sweepy time while I decide what Kenval skin I want. I kind of like the green. Equip my lightsaber. Equip that on Kem, who is this normal weird little color. But let's turn him greenish. Ooh, yes, that is much better. Okay. Camera, camera! Kem, go have fun. Oh, Kim wants to talk. Let's go talk. Your companions occasionally want to talk to you. They only do so in, quote, private, which is either your ship that you may get later. Yeah, you get a ship later. I just completely spoiled that out. Or in a cantina. Judging from the time left I expect for this episode, perfect. First off. Yeah, we'll talk to Ken. Crap, we're not done with Corban yet. I got the heroic quest I want to do. In Bizo se waitai spira press in kretai. In Bizo e wanata ataragata in dice. The more challenging, the better. Well, do fneja mate javraj. That was it. Now then. So yeah, we're not going to leave Corbon yet. We still have the heroic quest to do. And item modification, which means I should take my lightsaber off right now. I'll show you item modification, and then I will end this episode. In the next one, I'll do the heroic quest here on Dromenkaz. Not Dromenkaz, is where I'm going. On Corbon, we'll head off and do some other things for a bit. Yeah. Woo! We'll get off this planet eventually, I promise you people. Let's see here, we'll tap that. We will throw in my lightsaber. Throw in these mods. Apply, and now I have a nice lightsaber. There we go. Sell some stuff. I've got the best hardware and the best prices. Right, like I said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll see you guys whenever. Because who knows when I'm going to record again. Bye for now.